Hello out there all you dedicated Manga Dai maniacs and welcome back to Manga Dai headquarters at Joint Base Lewis McCord. I'm Sergeant Chris Roberts. And I'm Sergeant Chris Klutz. For those of you just joining in, we're moving into day two of First Corps' Manga Dai Challenge. A grueling, merciless 55-hour event where the region's senior enlisted leaders are pushed to their mental and physical limits. All to earn the coveted title, Manga Dai Warrior. Twelve hours into the challenge, participants were tested on their ability to react under pressure during counter-improvised explosive device training. A potentially explosive situation. Hey, I'm Staff Sergeant Brown and I'm here with... Command Sergeant Major Johnson. Command Sergeant Major Johnson and we're here at the counter IED course. So, um, a lot of these people, like uh, the first sergeant, hadn't had the opportunity to carry a 50 cal on their back since 20 years ago. You know, what do you think this does for senior leaders and uh, some of the participants? You know what I really think it does, it, it, since they haven't done this for so long, it puts them back down to be able to relate better with their junior you know, leaders you know, within their formations and, and enlisted guys within their formations and say, you know what, I remember what this is like now. And uh, it's easy to forget that as a senior leader. Uh, it's, it's a hard job. It's a young man's game. And you, know, you put all these old guys out here and start doing this, and, and they can remember what it was like. And uh, it makes them better leaders. Counter IED training wasn't the only opportunity for these senior leaders to get back to the basics. Next came the field leadership reaction course where the fundamentals of teamwork were paramount to success. So, Roger, how are you feeling right now? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Are you really feeling great? Oh, yeah. Hey, it's nothing but a thing. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, in your eyes, this, this, this high speed training, can you talk about that a little bit? Oh, yeah. I mean, we've got to do some things now that normally senior leaders don't get to do that. Uh, you know, we kind of plan the training, young soldiers execute, but with this, you know, it right puts right us in the seat, so we're actually getting to uh, execute like we did back in the day, so. You can step on those levels, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So, uh, speaking of execution, uh, sounds like you guys have a long night ahead of you. Any, uh, any thoughts on that? That's what I was going to uh, say. Yeah. We, hey, we, got, we got this, that board, and uh, we pass him just that following board. this, we've got well, a uh, nightland navigation course, which will take up take up the majority of the night, so we'll see uh, see where everybody stands tomorrow morning after uh yeah, like a chow and sleep deprivation. So hey, we can do it that. Be interesting. We'll start bringing you guys, man. Just fucking like. <laughs> Once the Mangadai hopefuls came together as a team, they were just a short road march away from conquering the land navigation course by moonlight. The night was crisp, and the moon was high when the Mangadai went for a walk outside. You have Alpha through Charlie to the left of it. Echo through Juliet to the right. You can see it down there. How do you feel about this land nav course? Pretty confident? No, not not really. The the Coast Guard is excellent on on the water navigation, and uh, we we haven't done much land navigation, so this will be a great learning experience for us. Okay, how are you feeling overall after today? Oh, I feel great. This is a tremendous opportunity for us, and uh, all our guys are doing fantastic, and uh, just couldn't ask for a better time. We've been treated exceptionally well. We're out here at the land navigation course where everyone just stepped off into this wood line behind me. Now, let's take a look at what some of them are doing en route to find their points. So Sergeant Major, what was the secret to your success out there in the, the land? The secret to my success was this first side right here. We sat there and we prepped like we were supposed to. We sat there and did the standard, figured it all out, the uh, azimuth and distance. He did the compass and pace, I did the map checks, and we just strolled straight to him. Cool, so you're looking forward to the rest of the events? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm looking absolutely forward to them. Thank you Sergeant Major. Oh, thank you. The Specialist Graham at the Land Nav course. Back to the Mungadai headquarters. The path to Mungadai is not paved in sleep, Sergeant Roberts. That's exactly right, Sergeant Klutz. The thought of rest was swept away by the sound of small arms fire. Nothing gets the blood pumping through the veins like live rounds at close quarters. Here with Sergeant Major Robinson, representing 137 out of 3rd Brigade. Sergeant Major, how you doing on the challenge so far on the 25th hour? It's going good. I'm tired, a little hungry, but it's going well. 
Cool. Now, what's it like going out here to a range like this after walking for 25 hours, doing all these other challenges? What's your marksmanship skills at? <laughs> Probably not where they should be at this point. Am I? Yeah, after 24 hours, yeah. uh, it's kind of hard sometimes to concentrate on the target. So. What do you have to do to motivate yourself to finish this and, 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 and get that Mungadai challenge under your belt? Just uh, take it one mission at a time. Just focus on uh, one mission at a time, uh, and, and that's it. Just push on from there. First Sergeant, uh, tell me where you at right now in Mungadai. Where's your head at, and what are you using to motivate yourself to go forward? Uh, right about now, we're in the uh, initial stages, shall I say, of uh, making sure that uh, we maintain our insanity because we are being pushed to the test. Uh, we're tired. We've been working. We've been doing whatever, and right now we're about tired, so we got to really dig deep. We're uh, using teamwork to motivate one another to make sure that we accomplish the mission. What's it like shooting a gun when you're in the 25th hour of a competition like this, and you're out there, you're pushing yourself? Does it change the, the Does it change the enjoyment of it? Does it change your ability to do it? Uh, how does it affect it? Well, it, it made it a little bit tougher, but you still have to enjoy it. You still have to be vigilant also to make sure that, that safety is there, that you don't flank your battle buddy to the left or right. But uh, it's, it's a little bit harder, but, hey, you still enjoy it. Back to headquarters for more Mungadai. Well, we're nearly halfway through the Mungadai Challenge, but still, there's so much more to come and miles and miles of walking to get there. So be sure to check back this evening for another newscast. For all of us here at Mungadai Headquarters, I'm Sergeant Chris Roberts. And I'm Sergeant Chris Klutz. Thanks for watching.